What's going on guys, it's Jay from Dirty Boy Tools, here to talk to you today about snap ring pliers. Uh, got a little bit of a new setup going on, as you can see, got a little lathe in the background and I got other things going on, so I'll be doing more things in the future, but for today, I definitely want to focus on these channel lock snap ring pliers. So, the reason I got these pliers is because I had some uh, snap ring pliers before and uh, they failed me. It's not really their fault, it really is my fault. These are smaller snap ring pliers as you can see, but I broke off one of the pieces trying to put it on a job that was, uh, that this was not intended for. This is like a six inch pair, and you're really not supposed to use these on three inch diameter snap rings, uh, but I did and ended up breaking the tip off. I said, okay, I need something new, so I decided to go with this, and so far, I love this pair. It's way better uh, than these Irwins. No offense to Irwin. They make a lot of great tools, uh, but the intention of this pair definitely suits uh, me better. Uh, let me start off with the thing I like the most. So with the snap ring plier, sometimes you have snap rings that you want to pull inward, like a regular plier, and sometimes you need to expand them and pull them outward. This one allows you to do both, and I can switch back and forth with one hand. That is a big plus. If a tool allows you to switch functions with one hand, it's definitely something worth keeping because your other hand might be busy at all times. So, very good with that. It is an 8-inch pair. Um, I've used it on 3-inch diameter uh, snap rings. It struggles a little bit on those, but it works. And, of course, if it works on the big ones, it'll work on the little ones. It has a good grip on it, good feel. The spring isn't bad. I usually take the springs out of uh, my snap ring pliers. I'll keep it in this one for now because I don't mind it being there. Although it's not as transportable with the spring in place. Uh, so I'll consider removing it. Um, and it also comes originally with copper tips. And you need to take the set screw out if you want to change the, the, uh, those tips out. Now this is a downside in my opinion to these pliers. Although the tips are all handy, all there, they all come in this little piece. This is something that could easily get lost. It comes with set screws, comes with extra tools. If I try to carry that with me, it'll get lost. See, look at that. I almost lost that right there. So if you're someone that needs to change your tips out to, let's say, 90 degree tips, this may not be the right pair of pliers for you. Now that is something that these Irwins did excel at. If I needed to change this one from external to internal, I'd have to remove this clip right here, uh, which was a little annoying, but doable. So I just move that to this side. And as you can see, it's a little bit of a struggle for me. Oh man, hold on. Good thing I'm not reviewing these pliers, right? Alright, so switch these out here. Put them in place. And now I reversed the motion of this. Uh, which is doable and, you know, it works for uh, if you don't want to carry around all these little things. This type of plier does work. And I can also switch to a 90 degree head like such if I really wanted to here. But, I don't have to do that uh, for the kind of work I do. I prefer just keeping the same tips on and I could do the same 180 degree style head. Don't need a 90 degree style head and I can switch between internal and external with this. Hopefully this will fit into everything I need and hopefully I'll never have to switch it out to these unless they get worn. Uh, but so far, so good. I do enjoy these pliers. I understand a lot of people don't work exclusively with snap rings and then there's some people that work a lot with snap rings in which case they'll get a whole snap ring set which will be different size pliers uh, this is more like if you compare the uh, the set of pliers to a set of box wrenches this will be more like the adjustable wrench it'll be like a one size fits all it does have its drawbacks you know a big plier like this won't always be able to fit into a, a small area um, and such and it might be bulky for smaller finer snap rings, but I don't encounter them too often There's periods of time where I'll, I'll encounter snap rings for 
a month or two constantly and then I probably won't see it again for another six months it's just that's just a pattern I've been seeing lately anyways these are from channel lock I am going to uh, link these um, in the description uh, check them out if you guys want to uh, I've been happy with them so far they've been working out well for me they're nice and sturdy nice and bulky and uh, I am very happy using these as a replacement to uh, this pair which you know I only bought this pair because I knew I, I at the time I didn't have to use snap ring pliers a lot but now I'm seeing it a little more often and of course this part broke so I switched up to channel lock if you guys have any recommendations on snap ring pliers because I know that's not exactly uh, the biggest tool the most well-known tool and if you work with these types of pliers let me know I'd love to hear more about them because so far I like these but if there's anything better out there let me know because uh, it's worth checking out